Hello guys, thank you once again for joining us here today and last episode we have discussed about the importance of the Christian worship in our churches and in our Christendom and we are so fortunate today that we have our brothers and sisters here that they have been excelling in this especially in this area in the worship and so we want them to introduce themselves to our viewers here yeah you can take your time sir. okay I'm Jack and uh, I'm married I have three sons one wife only <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, right now we have a ministry called the warehouse it's a worship school uh, it's a four-month worship school and then we have fellowship too, warehouse fellowship mm -hmm. and then yeah we're starting it will be I think I believe we'll be starting a church maybe next year mm -hmm. yeah um, hey guys uh, my name is James Bassnett um, of course, like he started, so let me say I'm also married, <laughs> and uh, we, I'm uh, basically a, a traveling artist, let's say, you know. So uh, God has been really faithful uh, with our ministry. So yeah, thank you very much for having us. Hi guys, I'm Avi, and right now I'm serving as a worship leader in Koinonia Baptist Church and i'm happy with what i'm doing mm -hmm. good yeah good. yes nice. like avi said he didn't say that he's uh, single <laughs> but uh, i'm married i also have three children and yes. uh, i'm uh, privileged to be here discussing on praise and worship yes, and i'm the director of heaven down media mm. okay thank you guys for introducing yourself and yeah we want to go straight to the topic okay. and then today we want to talk about the importance and also how to take worship as a career mm -hmm. and so we want to discuss in various area so like like your own profession and in your own expertise areas so we want to start with our sir yeah okay uh, since we have a worship school the warehouse well we in in warehouse <coughs> we uh, teach you know biblical principle for example and then not only that we also teach people how to write their own songs okay. Okay. and not only that we also teach people how to uh, you know hone their skills may maybe uh, make it better mm -hmm. uh, if you're a guitarist maybe you can be a better one or mm -hmm. you're a drummer or whatever skill that you have but we focus m much more on s skills of writing songs mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I really believe like um, if you want to have a career on that I think you need to write your own songs mm -hmm. Start writing your own songs and then start writing, you know, have your own material. Uh, if you don't know how to play guitar, start playing something. Mm -hmm. You'll need as, at least a keyboard or a guitar, acoustic guitar, to start writing your own songs. Mm -hmm. And that will help you get your career started. Mm -hmm. Because you have to earn, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, right. it's not just about singing in the church. I'm not against that, but you need to have your own uh, thing going on. And then as an artist or as a worship leader, you need to have your own song. So, uh, we encourage them to write okay, their own songs nice. and not only that um, you need to record your songs writing is right. right and I mean keep on writing you might make lots of mistakes mm -hmm. and you, we I do too mm -hmm. I have uh, already uh, published two C I mean CDs of mine and then still one is on the way <laughs> That's pretty uh, uh, so mm -hmm. but I really believe in, I mean, like, I have made lots of mistakes, you know, while writing songs, and you can too. But the main thing is, is write it, get start somewhere, and then uh, put music to it, and then start recording. Why not? Mm -hmm. Start recording your own songs. Right. Mm -hmm. And then um, <coughs> instead of just yeah. one, two, maybe just start recording your maybe five, put, it, put everything that you have, mm -hmm. and then select from there. I think right. it will help you. Right. It will really help you as an artist. It will really help you as a worship leader mm -hmm. to, you know, uh, hone your skill. I mean, like improve mm -hmm. as a worship leader. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's basically training. Yes, so it's basically it's a to train yes. the yes. young worship worship yes, who yes. are interested in the worship. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. See, there are many people who <coughs> are leading worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they don't know what worship is all about yeah. mm -hmm. exactly right. Right. yeah there are some people they say let's praise the Lord but they don't really know what praise is all about yeah. yes. exactly so there are something that we can learn from the internet but mm -hmm. there are many things that we can learn when we are in that atmosphere of coming together in a class setting and then learning from the Bible mm -hmm. true. that would really help yeah. That's very true. Mm -hmm. yeah thank you yeah um, worship as a career uh, <coughs> 
see if, if I have to <coughs> begin a little uh, and how I started sorry <coughs> sorry yeah. if I have to begin um, like I, I would love to share my testimony wherever I go because before <coughs> I used to feel ashamed to mm -hmm. share yeah. what happened to me what's happening mm -hmm. you know but uh, one night I woke up and I, I heard God telling me that why don't you share a testimony you know let people be blessed you know there are a lot of people around you who has gone through similar or even worse exactly. so um, so you know when I was 16 years old uh, I wanted to commit suicide you know mm -hmm. uh, I, I was just in a verge of you know just killing myself mm -hmm. you know wow. I was all set so at that time you know <clears throat> I heard I'm like I heard a lot of voices and uh, those voices made so easy for me to kill myself you know mm -hmm. and the voice of the devil and you know stuff like that so as I was about to kill myself I heard this another voice <clears throat> the voice said James you don't have to do this mm -hmm. you know uh, I want to use you mm -hmm. for my glory mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and at that time I didn't know what was going on you know because I was really high in drugs and stuff like that and as the voice began to tell me that you know he loves me you know it was for the first time in my life in 16 years someone had told me that person loves me you know mm -hmm. because as being an orphan I don't know if you guys have gone through but you know people always look down on you mm -hmm. you know they say I'm good for nothing yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. they say like right. you know they will treat me like a dog and stuff like that you know I had gone through worse you know so so when I heard the voice you know voice of our God that he loves me just the way I am and he said he wants to use me for his glory <clears throat> and I said what, what am I supposed to do at that time he said you're gonna sing for me mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and he literally told me at that time it did not make any sense he said the world will be your stage you know mm -hmm. so that time I don't know what was going on mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and from the next day I began to write the song this and I was so joyful and happy and you know I started writing my mm -hmm. songs like mm -hmm. brother Jack said you make mistakes you know mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's still today when I hear some of the songs I don't want to release those songs but you know it's the words that as a baby you know right, the baby right. doesn't come out from mother's tummy <laughs> saying you know yeah. talking all kinds of things you know mm -hmm. yeah. there's a step you know so like he, brother Jack said you know do what you're doing mm. right and uh, for me <clears throat> it was that moment uh, you know it changed everything for me mm -hmm. you know of course it took me almost 10 to 12 years for me to come up with my brand new album you know mm -hmm. But I waited and uh, I worked on music really hard <coughs> and uh, with the first album only, you know, <coughs> uh, God started giving me breakthroughs, you know. I remember uh, one guy from Dubai, he heard my first album and he said, uh, Planet Seeker is coming next week to Dubai, you know, why don't you open for them? You know, mm. and so when I went there, you know, that was the first time I was performing mm. in the stage. Mm. And, then, wow. you know? and, then, and even the Planet Shakers, they really love my songs. They mm. took all the CDs, and <clears throat> and one encouraging thing was, uh, I don't mind it going to the internet because it did happen. You know, mm -hmm. they said like after the the organizers of the show, he mm -hmm. said, James, you won't believe, you know, the merchandise and the CDs, yours has been sold out. Wow. You know, others, you know, it was uh, maybe 10 or 15, mm -hmm. but mine was completely sold out. Wow. You know? wow. So it was that's a so big cool. encouragement for me, yeah. you know. Yes, yes, yes. So that's how I began. And I would like to encourage um, the, uh, you know, those who are listening and watching us right now. You know, we are always there. We are not saying we are perfect, mm -hmm. but we are there right. to help you out. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you can always write to us. I get uh, almost every day five, ten emails from everybody like how to write songs can you promote me stuff like that and we are always there brother jack brother abhi mm -hmm. our sir and everybody we are you are here you know so we can feel free and ask us you know mm -hmm. and uh, one good thing is <clears throat> i want to give glory to god by saying this that uh, uh, grammy the panel of grammy has chosen me to be the official grammy members mm -hmm. uh, in the mm -hmm. grammy awards you know and if you know grammy it's a uh, the ultimate you know yes, yes. when it that comes to music thing, you know yeah. so they have chosen me and uh, I'm like I have the opportunity to help out or you know because as we we're discussing before 
I don't want the songs to just be here. Yeah. You know, right. the yeah. song has to go out. Yeah. Right. You know, mm. so it can only happen. Sometimes people think like, mm. oh, why you want to go for award? Why you want to promote yourself? You mm. know, you know, God says He is a glory and the lifter of our head. Mm. You know, mm. and when God lifts somebody. You know, it will not just be for you and your family. Mm. You know, mm. the world will see you. Right. You know. Yes. yes. So exactly. that's how God works. Mm. You know. Mm. So I've heard so many people said, "Oh, I don't want to go for award, and this, that, and all." Why not? If it is God, you do it. Yes. Mm. Right. Mm. If that award helps somebody mm. to reach out to your song, you do it. Mm. Right. Mm. So <clears throat> I just want to say we are here to help out. To promote, mm -hmm. or even to teach how to, you know, we have a wonderful school yes, of worship yes. in Dimapur, you know. Mm. So you can feel free, mm. and uh, yeah, so we can go ahead with that. <laughs> yeah. As, as Brother James was telling me, at the very young mm. age, I like to sing. I love singing, but I didn't know that I have a call. Mm -hmm. But slowly, as I was growing intimacy with God, God was revealing. And he's opening the door for me. And now I believe that if you don't have a cold, then don't go for it. But right, if you have right. a cold, you put all your patience, everything you give, your energy, your power right. to pursue that. Right. Because in to be a worship leader, we need a cold. Right. Exactly. So that's why I believe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And in praise and worship, we learn so many things. Uh, Personally, I was a very shy person. I cannot face people. I cannot, you know, facing new guys in the camera or facing my brothers, my sisters, and that, or people around. Mm -hmm. But because of praise and worship and because of that intimacy now, I'm, I'm not saying I'm, per, uh, I'm perfect, I'm strong mm -hmm. enough, but I'm learning to be strong. I'm learning to be bold. <laughs> we face challenges and we face ups and downs, but mm -hmm. you continue to pursue on your call and God will put the right people. Mm -hmm. God will open the right door. That's right. Yeah, we have the right people here. Like, if you need a training, our sir Jake is here to train you. And if you want to let out, let go your music, our brother James is here to mm -hmm. let go the music. Mm -hmm. And so, coming to our Naga people, especially mm -hmm. to like our brother Abi was saying before that we are so talented in the music, mm -hmm. and also it's very I'm not judging, but it's very disheartening to see certain people and like who have been gifted. In, in the in the uh, in the area of music, they have been trained from church, but when they grow up, mm. when they get they get fame, mm. you no, know, they they try track and they dilute the the call. Mm -hmm. So, I just want to ask your view. So, or also, your message mm. to our young people. So, how can they take this worship as a career, and not sidetracking the 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 call or diluting the gospel? Uh, that's a very good question you know right. like yeah. everybody will be wondering yeah, exactly. and uh, yeah of course like <clears throat> we are discussing like we have a lot of talented people around mm -hmm. basically what happens is as we come up as a worship leader people see us they discover our talent mm -hmm. and you slowly begin to compromise mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but for me I am totally against those things because okay. not to put down anybody mm -hmm. but for me, what I believe is this life God has given me, mm -hmm. I'm not going to waste it mm -hmm. singing for some silly things. Exactly. You know? exactly. <laughs> you know, so, uh, as I was uh, mentioning, um, <clears throat> a lot of people here in uh, our land, you know, they offer us huge amount of money okay. to sing one secular song. Mm. You know, okay, okay. So that is very tempting, especially uh, people like us. Mm -hmm. who has given up everything mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we don't have any government job mm -hmm. <laughs> you know so sometimes it becomes temptation to okay just grab the money and just sing one song you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah but exactly. that will be your fall mm -hmm. you know? yeah, yeah. from yes, that day yes. onward you start going down you know mm -hmm. uh, as i was sharing with you all uh, just now uh, a good friend of mine uh, from singapore uh, mm -hmm. who knows uh, this f1 formula one uh, mm -hmm. you know team and also they had introduced my song to them and uh, September 13 to 17 was the F1 in Singapore mm -hmm. so that time they wanted me to come uh, and uh, sing one song mm -hmm. you know and uh, I'm like to go and promote I'm like you know get promoted by them and F1 the whole world yeah. why yes. they know about yeah, it yeah, right exactly. and they told me you know 
what they want to give and how they want to promote me and you know they said like I will be opening for Ariana Grande and stuff mm-hmm. like that you know mm-hmm. so it was a huge you know yes. oh, yeah, I was like true. wow what's, what should I do you know <laughs> but I knew it in my heart you know that how much uh, money was being offered It was almost fifty thousand dollars. Wow! Wow! Just like one song. One song, oh, you wow. know. Yeah. Oh. Then they said, like, you don't have to do this. You know, I'm like, you don't have to do anything else. You know, mm. you just sing that song. You What know? was the song? I mean, they you? said any secular song. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. They wow. said any secular song. Okay. Then I said, I requested them. I let, I gave them my song and said, can I sing this? They said, like, no Muslim, no Hindu, or no Christian. We don't oh. promote anybody. You know. Okay. So you have to do this and I said in that way you know they said think about it I said I don't have to think about it you know because I know what I might do yes, you know? yes, like yes. and I told my friend right I won't do it you know and then, then they were like I'm like again you know big mouth but they kept on three times because it, it was my friend who introduced me to them you know mm. and they were kind of compelled also yeah so They three times they tried. We were in Singapore. Um, I was with uh, this family, and I I said no. You know, so a lot of things will come. You know, but what I believe in my heart is, if there is God who opened that door for me, He will open bigger door for me. Right, exactly, you know? exactly. True. Yeah. True. Only the thing is, like Brother Abi said, you have to be patient. Mm-hmm. You know, not everything will fall from heaven <laughs> to your bosom, and you know, yeah. you know, I'm like God will not just appear in front of you and say, do this. You have to follow your heart, right, you know. Right. You know, Bible says like, you know, his children, his uh, sheep will always hear his voice. Exactly. You know. Right. So, you know, so if that thing doesn't happen overnight, don't be saddened, don't be, you know, heartbroken. Mm. You know, just stick to what, like we said, mm. if God has called you, you know. If you know that God has called you, you stick to that. God right. will promote you. Exactly. He will prosper you. Mm. Like. I was <coughs> working in Bangalore for almost 13 years. Mm. I had good salary. Mm. I had good salary. I'm telling you, I had. I I have not seen any churches paying worship leader that much <laughs> salary. You know, mm. every month I was taken care of. You know, plus people used to bless me. But I've been here in Kohima, Nagaland for four years. I don't have salary. Mm-hmm. But I'm living better life than I was living oh, before. Mm, you know, you are. Exactly. You know how did it happen? Yeah. Because yeah. I know I'm in with the will of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know. So you know. So I'm like, we came. Like I said, we came here in Kohima for three months. You know, I was offered a house, a car in Dubai. You know, but when we came here, God said, you have to be here. Mm. You know. So after that, God has never put me to shame. Like, mm-hmm. You know, Book of Joel says two, twenty one onward that those who trust in him he will never put them to shame right, amen. Right, you know right, right. so i've trusted him i've never i'm like after coming here i'm traveling internationally like crazy mm. you know mm-hmm. <laughs> and i'm not That's saying good. i have a i don't have family i don't have bank balance i don't have uh, you know a huge property to look forward when my father passed away I, you know i'm like to inherit the thing but god has been so faithful yeah, to me yeah, yeah. you know good. so i am really loving my career mm-hmm. as a worship leader And if you can only trust God, you know, He can do miracle. True. Yeah. True. So this is my own experience, mm-hmm. and, you know. So, yeah. praise yeah. God. What, yeah. a, what an example! Yeah. What a right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. True. Thank you very so, much. You know, Glory like, to uh, God. Our, our, what our young people can learn, musicians can learn mm-hmm. from such a story. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I just uh, uh, would like to know something from Brother Jack also that uh, you're talking about uh, uh, having coming out with your own songs, and mm-hmm. so. Before we go into that, like, what would be the difference between a worship song and uh, a, and a normal gospel song? Well, um, worship song usually is uh, uh, they are easy to s- they are singable actually mm. they are singable and then uh, they can sync easily with people. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, and worship song. I mean, when you are writing a worship song, I mean, like, uh, uh, you should you should make it in such a way. Um, for example, like uh, if you talk about Chris Tomlin, for example, yes. most of his songs they are very singable. Mm-hmm. The music is fantastic, you know, but yes. they are singable, so pe- people just catch on fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So worship songs should be like this actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It should be singable, not that exactly. you know trying to hit the high note and then you know putting. I mean, like you might have to give praise God for it, but it's it's not singable. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you put lots of uh, you know, I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> style on it, right? But it should be very much singable, and then then you should be able to connect. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. with God and man. Mm-hmm. Because uh, and focus is also very important when you're writing a song, a uh, worship song, mm-hmm. because like your song should turn to God. It's it's towards God. Not it's not towards you. It's not talking about you. It's talking about God. It's, go, it's right. talking about glorifying God. It's about talking. <coughs> it's it's talking about magnifying the Lord. Mm-hmm. So uh, usually worship song is like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, gospel song usually what happens is a gospel song is a, it's like a story. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's uh, like you're talking about your life mm-hmm. in a song, or maybe you are trying to describe about the prodigal son mm-hmm. in a song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So usually it's like uh, basically preaching mm-hmm. in a song. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I would say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whereas uh, worship is actually declaring. Mm-hmm. Praise and worship, it's about declaring. It's about magnifying the Lord. Mm-hmm. It's about bringing the people people's attention to how good God is, mm-hmm. how great God is, mm-hmm. that He is worthy of our praise, worthy <coughs> of our worship, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, or that line. Bring the people together to, to focus on God. Together. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, okay. yes. Okay. yes. And in a... In a which is easy to do, not difficult. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. not Which difficult. Yeah. You, you might okay. put some fancy music in it, <coughs> but I would uh, prefer that it should be singable. Simple. Right, mm-hmm. simple. Yeah. Right, right. So that they'll catch on fast. Because yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the songs that we are, are uh, that stays with you are the songs that are simple. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Right? Very it's not the difficult right. one, right? Yes. I mean, yes. You don't remember all those difficult songs, but you remember all those simple, simple songs. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember the song Six right. Year First, The Kingdom of God, something mm-hmm. like that, for yes. example. Yes. Yeah.